Hi, welcome to the channel English Professionally. And this video is English Grammar Level Beginner, Elementary and Pre-Intermediate. Do you want to speak English really well? Do you want to speak English without mistakes? So, I think yes. So, this course is for you. You need all these grammar to have a strong pre-intermediate level when you are sure about everything, all grammar parts. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your support. Or I can say thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for your support. I really hope you like this lesson. Yeah, good. Okay, so the first thing, personal pronouns. Personal pronouns. What is it? It's I. I is a personal pronoun. For example, you can say I study English or I learn English. We. Oui. It's a personal pronoun. We work. You. You understand. They. They know it. He. He goes to school. She. She goes to work. It works well. So, personal pronouns. I, we, you, they, he, she, it. Okay? So, let's revise, let's revise, let's revise everything. I study English or I learn English, we work, you understand, they know it, he goes to school, she goes to work, it works well, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah, let's revise everything, okay, sorry for my typing skills, yeah, sorry for my typing skills, sorry for my typing skills or for my, you know, for my bad, yeah, for my bad typing skills, yeah, sorry, oh, yeah, sorry for my bad typing skills, yeah, really, I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry, oh, okay, okay, sorry for my bad typing skills, okay, next, so, oh, present simple statement so statement let's talk about it present simple statement or we call it affirmative 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 sentences affirmative sentences okay so for example i work we work you work, they work. Okay, you can repeat. I work. We work. You work. They work. So, we say I, we, you, they plus verb. Plus verb. For example, work. Okay? Next. He. He works. She works. It works. If you have he, she, it, you put verb plus s. Verb plus s. So we say works. 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 Yeah? Please. Don't forget about it. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget 
about s. Don't forget about s. Okay? So if you have he, she, it, you put a verb plus s. So he works, she works, it works. Okay, examples. Uh, for example, so I read. I read. Okay, so you see a subject. So you see a subject plus verb. A subject plus verb. So I is a subject and read is a verb. We write. So we is a subject and write is a verb. Yeah? Good. You listen. So you is a subject and listen is a verb. Next. So they go. You see they is a subject and go is a verb. Yeah? So if you have he, she, it, please remember it. Please don't forget about is. Remember it. Okay? So re remember it. Remember it. We add s. Look. He travels. He travels. Yeah, we say we add s. He travels. Next. She understands. She understands. It looks interesting. It looks interesting. Yeah? It looks interesting. We add S. Okay, and we have a test for you. We have a test for you. So, she leave or she lives there. She leave or she lives there. So, we say she lives. Because it's he. Oh, sorry. Because it's she. He, she, it. If you have he, she, it, we add s. So she lives there. Okay? She lives there. Okay? So it's easier. It's easier. Uh, next. My brother. My brother work or works. My brother work or works. So... And why? So you look at my brother. So it's what? He, she, it, they. My brother is he. My brother is he. And uh, you know, he. if you have he, she, it, you add s. So my brother works. My brother works. Please remember it. So my brother works. Okay, so present simple, statement, or affirmative sentences. So, we say, are we, you, they, plus verb. For example, I work, you work, they work. He, she, it, plus verb, plus s. He works, she works, it works. Don't forget about s. Remember it. For example... I read, subject plus verb. We write, you listen, they go, but... But he travels. She understands, it looks interesting. She lives there, my brother works. Okay? So, let's talk about present simple and time markers. Time markers. So, we often use present simple with these words yeah so we often use 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 uh, this tense this tense present simple with these words with these words okay so uh, you can see it so uh, so you can see it always I always help my parents. Often. I often listen to music. 
Yeah, we say listen to. Don't forget about to. I usually get up late. Sometimes. So you can put sometimes in the middle. So it's in the middle. You see, in the middle. Look, I sometimes do it. You can put sometimes in the beginning. Sometimes I do it. Or you can put sometimes in the end. I do it sometimes. And never. I never go there. Okay, and uh, phrases with every. Phrases with every. Every day. Yeah, so I do it every day. Every week. So I go there every week. Every month I visit that place every month. Every year I go to Italy. Every year. Okay, next. So about myself, yeah? So it's top it's a topic. It's about it's a topic about myself. I live in Spain. I live in Madrid. I work. I often go to the cinema. Please remember we say go to the cinema. I sometimes play computer games. I always help my friends. And my friends always help me. I have different hobbies. I like English. I study English every day. Let's say it, let's say it a bit faster. Let's say it a bit faster. Okay? So, I live in Spain, I live in Madrid, I work, I often go to the cinema, I sometimes play computer games, I always help my friends and my friends always help me. I have different hobbies. I like English. I study English every day. Okay? Next. Let's talk about like. I like. We say like something. Like something. Or I like. I like something. For example. I like this book. I like English. I like dancing. I like swimming. So if you really like something, if you really like something, if you really like something and you need to use a verb and you need to use and you need to use and you need to use and you need to use, need to use a verb. So you say you say you say like doing something, like doing something. I like doing something. Okay? So, so you see, uh, so you see, like plus verb plus ing. Yeah? Like plus verb plus ing. For example, I like playing football. So like plus verb play plus ing. I like playing football. I like spending time with my friends. Like plus verb plus ing. I like spending time with my friends. I like this movie. I like this movie. Uh, for example, I can say I like yeah or it's a test for you it's a test for you I like learn or I like learning I like learn or I like 
learning English. I like learn or I like learning English. So if you really like something, you say I like learning English. I like learning English. So it's correct. So it's correct. I like learning English. Okay? Okay? Very good. So you can also meet. You can also meet I like to learn English. So I like to learn English. So it's also possible. It's also possible. So you can say I like to learn or I like learning. So like doing something or like to do, like to do. Yeah, but I like learn, you know, it isn't right. It isn't correct. But if you really like something, you, so we say like doing, I like learning English. Yeah, but um, if you say I like to learn, it's also correct. It's also possible. Okay, good. Let's talk about our hobbies. Okay. So, hobbies. One hobby, but many hobbies. I like English. I like learning English. I like learning foreign languages. I like reading English books. I like chess. I like football. I like badminton. I like traveling. Next. I want. We say want something or I want something. Look. I want it. I want this dress. I want this suit. I want this car. I want this house. But, but, we say want to do something, want to do something. For example, I want to do something want to do so you see we say want plus two plus verb want plus two plus verb please remember it look I want to buy it I want to do it I want to study English with you every day. A good idea. Yeah, want something but want to do something. Okay? So, I have a test. I have a test for you. So, I want to go or I want go there I want to go there or I want go there so we say want to do something want plus to plus verb so we use to and we say I want to go there I want to go there okay next I would like I would like so it's a full form and we often say we often use a short form I'd like I'd like it's a short form we say I'd like I'd like something please remember it I'd like something for example I'd like a cup of tea I'd like a glass of juice but but we say I'd like I'd like to do I'd like to do something we say I'd like to do something 
So I'd like, you see, I'd like to do it. So we use a verb, we use to before a verb. We use to, so we use, let's uh, write it. Uh, so we use, okay? Uh, so we use, we use to, or we use to uh, before a verb. We use to before a verb. So you see, I'd like, yeah? I'd like, I'd like to do it. I'd like to do it. I'd like to order it. I'd like to tell you one very important thing. Yeah. Study English regularly and success will come. Study English regularly and success will come. So we say I'd like something but I'd like to do something, okay? So, I have a test for you. So, I'd like I'd like to buy it or I'd like I'd like buy it. So, how will you say I'd like to buy it or I'd like buy it? So, we say I'd like to do something, so I'd like buy it. You know, it isn't correct, it isn't right. And we say, I'd like to, I'd like to buy it, I'd like to buy it. Okay, very good, yeah? Well, so let's talk about present simple negative, negative form, negative form, okay? So we use, look, we use don't or doesn't. So we use don't with I, we, you, they. Listen, I don't work. We don't work. You don't work, they don't work. And we use doesn't with he, she, it. So he doesn't work. She doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, so more examples. I don't do it every day. So we have don't because of I. I don't do it every day. Okay. I don't go to school. I work. I don't know Chinese. I know English. I don't see it well. I don't drive a car, I use public transport. Or I don't use public transport, I drive a car. So we use don't or doesn't. We use don't with I, we, you, they and doesn't with he, she, it. Okay, what about questions? So present simple question. So, we put do or does in the beginning. We put do or does in the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning. We put do. We put do or does in the beginning. In the beginning, if there is a verb. If there is a verb. So, wor work, yeah, there is a verb, it's work, so you see, and we put do or does, you see that we use do with I, we, you, they, so you can listen to it, or you, you can, yeah, so do I work, do we work, do you work, do they work, good. And we use he, she, it with does. So, does he work? Does she work? Does it work? Okay? So, let's look. Let's look at some examples. Let's look. We say look at. Please remember it. Let's look. 
at some examples. So, please, listen. Do you understand me? So, we have you and use do. We say, do you? Do you know it? So, we use do because of you. Do you know it? Do you live in America? Do you live in America? Next, does she work there? So, we use she because of does. Does she, does he, does it? Does she work there? Yes or no? For example, does... For example, does or do, does or do, it's a test for you, help you. Help you. Okay? So, does it help you or do it help you? We know that if we have it, we use does. So, does it help you? Does it help you? Next. So, does or do your lessons help? Okay? So, you see it. You see it. So, and you need you need to choose. So, do your lessons help or does your lessons help? So, you look at your lessons. So, what is it? He, she, it, they. So, your lessons, it's they. Yeah, they. And we put, and we put do with they. So, do they or do your lessons help? Do your lessons help? Okay? Okay. What about special special question or what about special questions how do we ask them so it's easy so first you put a question word then do or does then do or does plus verb plus verb yeah so please remember it so question word plus do or does plus verb so where do you live where do you live? So, where is a question word? So, we have do, because of you, do you, and a verb, live. Where do you live? But where, but where does she live? Where does she live? So, where is a question word? So, you see, does, we have does because of she so where does she live where does she live okay next so where do you work where is a question word we have do because of you do you where do you work but where does he work so we have a question word it's where and then does because of he so good very good what do you know so what is a question word and then we have do because of you okay so next why do you learn english why do you learn english so why is a question word then do because of you why do you learn english how do you learn this language how is the question word and then we have do because of you how do you learn this language with the help of this channel with the help of the channel good so let's look at some common questions common questions we often we often ask them okay so where do you live i live in new york do you work no, I study. Where do you study? Yeah, we ask, do you? Do you? Where do you study? At university. Do you study at school or at university? As for me, 
I study at university and I work at the same time. Really? Yeah, that's true. Yeah? Or yes, yeah, that's true. How do you study? How do you study English? How do you study English? I watch different videos on YouTube. I watch different videos on YouTube. So, it's an English conversation. Good. Okay, so let's look at revision. So, present simple with a verb revision. Okay, uh, so I have uh, some exercise for you. Okay, so I have uh, some exercise for you. Okay, so you have this phrase, so work hard. Uh, then you have this phrase, was work hard, I. Uh, then you have this phrase, listen to pop music, uh, she. And then you have this uh, phrase, so sound interesting, it. Okay? And you need to say it in a statement, in a negative sentence, and you need to ask a question. Look, work hard, I. So, I work hard. So, you know that we say subject, subject plus verb. I work hard. Next. So, how to make a negative form, don't or doesn't. So, you see, I, we say, I don't, I don't work hard. So, we use don't or doesn't plus verb. And let's ask a question. Let's ask a question. So, do or does? We say, do I, do I work hard? Do I work hard? Okay, next. Listen to pop music, she. So, we say she. Subject plus verb, yeah? If it's I, be you, they. If it's he, she, it, we add S. So, she listens. Yeah, she listens to pop music. Don't forget about S. She listens to pop music. So, negative forum. Don't or doesn't? He, she, it doesn't. So, she doesn't listen. She doesn't listen to pop music. And you want to ask a question. So, do or does? She. So, does. Does she. Does she. Okay? So, does she listen? Does she listen to pop music? And uh, this phrase sounds interesting it okay or sound interesting it so it so we use subject plus verb and if it's he she it subject plus verb plus s so it's it and we need to use s to add s so it sounds interesting it sounds interesting okay what about a negative form don't or doesn't so, we know he, she, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, okay? So, it doesn't, oh. it doesn't, it doesn't sound interesting, it doesn't sound interesting. And if we want, if we want to ask a question, so we put do or does in the beginning. So, do or does. We use does with he, she, it. So, does it sound... Does it sound interesting? Does it sound interesting? Okay? So, present simple with a verb, revision. So, you see, I work hard. I don't work hard. Do I work hard? She listens to pop music. She doesn't listen to pop music. Does she listen? To pop music. It sounds interesting. It doesn't sound interesting. Does it sound interesting? Okay, very good. 
Let's talk about the verb to be in present simple. So when do we need the verb to be? Who knows? So rule. If we don't have a verb in a sentence in present simple, we need to use the form of the verb to be. So if you don't have if you don't have a verb, if you don't have a verb in a sentence, in a sentence, in present simple, in present simple, you need to use, you need to use, you need uh, to use the form of to be or the form of uh, the verb, the form of the verb to be. So am. So it's am, is or are. Look, I am at work. Do you see a verb? No, you don't see it. So you use am, is or are. Please remember that we use am with I, I am, is with he, she, it, he, is, she, is, it, is, and are with we, you, they, are. Look at these examples, okay? So, I am at work. Or you can also use a short form, I am at work. He is at work. Or he is at work. She is at work. Or she is at work. It is at work. Or it's at work. We are at work. Or we are at work. You are at work or you are at work. They are at work or they are at work. Okay? So, look at some examples. It is interesting or it's interesting. So, we put to be because we don't have a verb. It is interesting or it's interesting. I am happy or I'm happy. Good. So, we are at home. We are at home, or we are at home, or we are at home. Good. Next. So, what is next? Okay. So, what is next? So, you see. So, you see. You are very hard working. You are very hard working. Okay. You are very hard working. Or we say, you know, you are, you are, it's a full form and you are, it's a short form. You are very hard working and you are very hard working. Next, this material is very useful. So, this material means it and we say it is. So, this material is very useful. This material is very useful. Okay, uh, we'll look at more examples with to be, but first we need to you know to look at a short test to look at a short test so he am is or are in the park okay so we say he she it is so he is in the park he is in the park okay uh, next look my friends my friends M is my friends M is or are there my friends so what is it A, he she it they my friends they and we say they are so my friends are there okay more examples with to be yeah more examples with to be my name is Alex. I'm from Canada. So why do I have is? Because my name means it. So my name means it. My name means it. Okay? So my name means it. We say it is. So my name is Alex. I'm from Canada. I'm 29. I'm an English teacher. I'm an English teacher. I'm at home now. 
I'm at home now. Next, his name is Tom. So why do we have is? Why do we use is? Because his name means it. We say it is. So his name is Tom. He is from Canada. <laughs> he is from Canada too. He is 80. Yeah, you can say he is from Canada too. He is 18. 18. He is a student. He is at university now. The verb to be in present simple, so a negative form, a negative form, okay? So we say, I am not, I am not, or I'm not, we are not, or we aren't, we aren't, you are not, or they, you aren't. So, you are not at home, you aren't at home. They are not at home, they aren't at home. He, she, it is not. So, he is not at home or he isn't at home. She is not at home or she isn't at home. It is not at home or it isn't at home. So, you don't have a verb in present simple, so you use the form of the verb to be. So, am, is, or are, or am not, are not, or is not in negative sentences. Okay? So, let's look at this text. Okay? Let's look. Let's look at this text. He isn't at home now. Or let's look at these examples. He is at work. I'm not a businessman. I'm a doctor. Yeah, at these examples. Let's look at these examples. Okay, so we aren't in the park. We are in the forest. We aren't in the park. We are in the forest. Good. So, the verb to be in present simple in questions. So, we put am, are or is in the beginning. So, we ask am I, for example, am I in the right place? We ask are we, are you, are they, are we in the right place? Are you in the right place? Are they in the right place. And we ask, is he, is she, is it? Is he in the right place? Is she in the right place? Is it in the right place? Is it in the right place? Okay, more examples. Are you happy? So, we use are because of you, yeah? Are we, are you, are they, are you happy? Are you at work? Is she at home? Is it a good idea? Is it a good idea? Next. So, to be in a special question or to be in special questions. So, how do we ask it? It's easier. Question word, question word, plus M is M is or R M is or R So you see Where is it? Where is a question word? Where is it? And we use is because of it. Yeah, so it is but is it in questions? Where is it? Where are they? So, where is a question word? Are they? So, we say they are in the statement and are they in questions. What is it? What is it? How is he? How is he? Yeah, how is a question word? We say he is, but is he in questions? 
How are you? How are you? Yeah. So how is a question word? You see that we say you are. So but are you in questions? How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm fine too. How is your mother? So why do we use why do we use is? Because your mother means she. We say how is she or how is your mother? How is your father? Why do we use is? Because your father means he. How is he? How is your father? How are your parents? How are your parents? So it means they. How are they? Or how are your parents? Okay? Good. We need revision. We need revision. So present simple to be revision. Okay? Let's do some exercises. Let's do some exercises. Okay? So let's uh, do some exercise. You see? So you need to form you need to form three sentences. You need to form three sentences. So a statement, a negative form and a question. Look, it interesting it. So it interesting right or not? Not you need the form of to be. You know that if you don't have a verb in present simple, you need the form of to be. So if it's he, she, it, we say what is. Right. It is interesting. So let's make a negative form. So we say it is not interesting or we can say it isn't. It's a short form. Oh, it isn't interesting. And let's ask a question. So we put is in the beginning. Is it interesting? Is it interesting? Good. At home they. So they at home. Right or not? Not. We need the form of to be. So M is or are. We say they are. So they are at home. So what about a negative form? They are not. Or we can use a short form. They aren't. They aren't at home. And if we want to ask a question, we say are. Are they are they at home? Okay? So a good student he so he a good student, right or not? Not. Why? We don't have a verb, so we need to use the form of to be. So what is it? Am is or are. So a good student. So what is it? He, she, it, they. So it's he and we say he is yeah he is a good student he isn't he isn't a good student and is he is he a good student okay so present simple to be revision it is interesting it is not interesting or it isn't interesting is it interesting they are at home they are not at home or they aren't at home. Are they at home? He is a good student. He isn't a good student. Is he a good student? Well, my day. I usually get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Then I have breakfast. I go to work. I start working at 9 o'clock. Yeah, we say start 
doing something, please remember it. Start working. I start working at 9 o'clock. I work from 9 to 6. After that, I go home. I come back home at 7 o'clock in the evening. I often go for a walk in the evenings. Yeah, we say go for a walk. I often go for a walk in the evenings. I usually go to bed at midnight. I usually go to bed at midnight. Okay, next. My friend's day. I want to tell you about my friend's day. His name is Alex. He usually gets up very late. He doesn't go to university. He works. He starts working at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and he finishes working at 10 o'clock in the evening. You see that he finishes his work very late and he comes back home very late too. Okay? Good. And he comes back home very late too. Anyway, he works there. He likes getting up early. Yeah? He likes getting up early. Good. Yeah? We say, I want to tell. Yeah? We don't forget about to. I want uh, to tell. And we say, he likes getting up. So we put ing. He likes getting up earlier. Next. What about future simple? Let's talk about it. So we form it this way. Will plus verb. Will plus verb. So look. I will do it. Uh, he will do it. Uh, they will do it. He will do it. She will do it. It will do it. So will plus verb. Examples. More examples. So I will go there. It's a full form and you can use a short form. So it's I'll. I'll go there. I'll go there. We will call them or we'll call them. You will learn English or you learn English. They will come soon or they'll come soon. He will understand. He will understand it or he'll understand it. She will sing this song or she'll sing this song. Good. It will happen or it'll happen. So I hope you'll remember it. I hope you'll remember it. Next. So future simple time markers. So it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow and different phrases with next. For example, next week, next um, month, next year and uh, the day after tomorrow okay so look i'll do it tomorrow i'll decide it tomorrow i will earn 100 dollars next week i will go to mexico next month i will finish school next year so you see the day after tomorrow i'll go to the party the day after tomorrow and we often uh, say soon, soon, and later. So I'll do it, I'll do it soon, I'll do it soon, or I'll do it, or I'll do it later. Well, how to make a negative form? Yeah, future simple negative. So it's will not, it's will not plus verb or won't plus verb. It's, yeah, will not plus verb or won't plus verb. Look, I will not do it. We will not do it. They will not do it. He will not do it. She will not do it. It will not do it. And, uh, for example, I won't go to the party. Yeah, uh, compare. 
please compare uh, compare I won't go to the party yeah it's a negative form and I want to go I want to go to the party yeah we use to we use to I want to go to the party so we use to and I want go I want go it's a negative form okay examples more examples look I won't study there or I will not study there but you know that we often use um, a short form when we speak so we won't go there I won't buy this flat they won't buy this house it'll help you learn English it'll help you learn English good well maybe you want to ask a question or questions no problem so you put will in the beginning plus subject plus subject plus verb plus subject plus verb look will you do it so will you as a subject and do is a verb will you do it will she come so we always we always use will will you wait for him will you help me will he work there will he work there next special question with future simple so we put a question word in the beginning then will then we have a subject and a verb so where will he work where is a question word will he is a subject and a verb where will he work where will you study where will you buy it how will you learn english what will you do tomorrow okay and future simple revision so you know this exercise so you need to say it in a statement you need to make a negative form and you need to ask a question so do it well i i yeah future simple will plus verb so i will do it i will do it well or i can use a short form i'll do it i'll do it well next negative we add will not so i will not i will not do it well or i won't want is a short form i won't do it well if you want to ask a question you put a will in the beginning so will plus subject will i plus verb so will i do it will i do it well okay come tomorrow here he plus will so plus verb he will come tomorrow he'll come tomorrow or you can use a short form so he'll come he'll come tomorrow uh, next so it's um, a statement you see what about a negative form will not so he will not come he will not come tomorrow or he won't he won't come he won't come tomorrow good what about a question so we put will in the beginning will he will he come will he come tomorrow and call you she so she plus will she plus verb so she will call you she will call you or we can use a short form she'll call you okay so she'll call you very good very good negative form so she will not she will not call you she will not call you yeah or she won't call you or she won't call you good she will not call you or she won't call you and if you want to ask a question you put will 
in the beginning. So will she call you? Will she call you? Good. So future simple revision. I will do it well or I'll do it well. I will not do it well or I won't do it well. Will I do it well? He will come tomorrow or he'll come tomorrow. He will not come tomorrow. He won't come tomorrow. Will he come? She will call you. She'll call you. She will not call you. She won't call you. Will she call you? Well, let's talk about past simple, regular and irregular verbs. So, you know that uh, we use don't, doesn't, am not, isn't, aren't with present simple and want but not want, yes, but not want in future simple. So, what about past simple? How to say something in past simple? So, some words are regular and some words are irregular or verbs, yeah? Verbs can be regular and irregular. So, you just need, you just need to use the second form, the second form, the second form of a verb. You just need to use the second form of a verb. You just need to use the second form of a verb. Look, work is a regular verb. And if it's a regular verb, you add ed. You add ed. So you say, I worked, we worked, you worked, they worked, he worked, she worked, it worked, it worked. Look, I played football, she listened to music. So you see that these verbs work, play, listen are regular and you add ed. But some verbs, but some verbs are irregular. Irregular, for example, some verbs are irregular. Uh, for example, do, come, say and you need to know the second form. For example, do and did is the second form. And you say, I did it. Come, came. You say, he came. Say, said. She said it. So you need to know irregular verbs. You need to know irregular verbs. Yeah. So really, regular and irregular verbs. Look at these examples. I played tennis, so it's a regular verb. Play and we add ed. I played tennis. He listened to rock music. It's a regular verb. And we add ed. He watched that movie. Regular. So we add ed. You worked very hard. Regular. You see ed. They walked in the park, regular, you see ED. I traveled a lot, so it's regular, you see ED. And I studied this subject, regular. So if it's a regular verb, if it's a regular verb, so if it's a regular verb, so what is past simple? It's verb. It's a verb plus ed. Please remember it. Verb plus ed. Okay? Uh, irregular verbs in English. So you must remember them. So please remember, remember, remember them and their forms. Remember them and their forms. For example, speak, spoke. I spoke English yesterday. Drive, drove. I drove a car. Do did. I did it very well. See saw. We saw her. Make made. She made a mistake. Get got. I got a present. Okay. My day yesterday. I got up very early. 
yeah, irregular. I had breakfast, irregular, yeah, get, got, have, had. I went to work, irregular, go, went, oh, sorry, go, went. I worked very hard, regular, because we have ED. I finished my work at 6 o'clock in the evening, regular, so we have ED. After that, I went to the cinema, so irregular, it's irregular, go, went, I came home very late, irregular, come, came. I came home very late. Then I had dinner. Irregular have had. I used the internet and went to bed. Regular we have ED. I used the internet and went to bed. Good. What about past simple and its negative form? So we use didn't. We use didn't plus verb. Please remember it. Didn't plus verb. So, I didn't do it. We didn't do it. You didn't do it. They didn't do it. He didn't do it. She didn't do it. It didn't do it. Okay. I think you want more examples. No problem. So, I didn't go there. So, didn't plus verb. I didn't go there. Next. So, so, what is next? We didn't understand it. So, didn't plus verb. You didn't remember it. Didn't plus verb. They didn't come. Didn't plus verb. So, it isn't important. It isn't important regular or irregular. We say didn't plus verb. And it is important we, you, they, he, or she, or it. So he didn't help us. She didn't find a good job. It didn't happen. Okay? So I think that you want to ask a question. No problem. So did, you need did, plus subject. Did plus subject plus verb. Did plus subject plus verb. Look. For example, did I do it well? Did we do it well? Did you do it well? Did they do it well? Did he do it well? Did she do it well? Did it do it well? Okay? So, you see more examples. Did you go there? So, did. You is a subject. Go is a verb. Yeah? Did you go there? Did you buy it? So, did plus subject you plus buy buy is a verb. Did you buy it? Did you help him? Did you write a letter? Did you forget it? Did you remember it? Okay? Well, maybe you want to ask a special question. No problem. So, you need to put a question word in the beginning. Uh, then you need to use did plus subject plus verb. Yeah, so question word plus did plus subject plus verb. What did you do? How did you do it? So look, what is a question word? Did you is a subject and do is a verb. So what did you do? How did you do it? Where did you do it? Why did you do it? Where did you go? Yeah, you see, where is a question word. Then you have did, you as a subject, and go is a verb. Where did you travel? Why did you work there? Okay? And um, past simple revision, you need exercises. So you need to, to make three different forms. Okay? So do it well. I say it in past simple. I, so what is the second form of do? This verb is regular, 
and we know do did so I did it well negative form I we always use didn't plus verb so I didn't do it well if you want to ask a question we ask we started with did subject you or subject I did I do it well did I do it well okay next go there he he you know go went so this verb is irregular so he went there negative form he didn't go there and if you want to ask a question we start with did so did he go there did he go there help us he so he this verb is regular so we add ed he helped us how to make a negative form he didn't help us and if you want to ask a question so did he help us yeah did he sorry uh, did he help us okay so past simple revision i did it well i didn't do it well did i do it well he went there he didn't go there did he go there he helped us he didn't help us did he help us did he help us good okay let's talk about was or were so you know that there is a verb be and its second form can be was or were so be was or were and being is the third form so be was were or being so when do we use was and when do we use were so if it's i he she it we use was for example i was at work he was at work she was at work it was at work if it's we you they we use were we were at work you were at work they were at work okay so look i was at home so i she she it was i was at home it was very interesting they were very happy that lesson was very boring why was because that lesson means it and we say that lesson was or it was very boring my friends were glad to see me so my friends means they so my friends were glad to see me okay so and i have a test for you so he was or were happy he was or he were happy so he she it was and we say he was happy he was happy good okay uh, next so the book was or the book were interesting the book was or the book were interesting so the book means it and we say the book was the book was interesting okay good so my friends were glad to see me he was happy the book was interesting well what about a negative form we say wasn't or weren't so we say wasn't with i he she it look i wasn't at work he wasn't at work she wasn't at work it wasn't at work and we say we use weren't with we you they we weren't at work you weren't at work they weren't at work so examples I wasn't at work, I was at home. Next. My friends weren't happy, they were upset. The lesson 
wasn't boring. It was very interesting. And you know that we use was or were in questions. So we use was with I, he, she, it. Look, was I in the right place? Was he in the right place? Was she in the right place? Was it in the right place? And we use were with we, you, they. So we ask were we in the right place? Were you in the right place? Were they in the right place? Okay, look at more examples. Was it interesting? So we say, yeah, was it? Was it? Was it boring? Was it a good idea? Were they there? So we say, were they? Okay, so were you happy? Okay, so was were a special question. So how do we ask it? So you have a question word in the beginning. Then you have was or were. Okay, so you see, where were you? So where is a question word? And then you have were because of you. So you say you were, but were you in questions? Where were you? Where was he? So where is a question word? And we say he was, but was he in questions? Where was she? How was it? Why were you there? Okay? So was the revision? Okay, so you need to say it in a statement, in a negative sentence, and in a question. So I was or were? I was. I, he, she, it was. I was at home. Good. Next, wasn't or weren't? I wasn't. I wasn't at home. And we put was in the beginning. So was I at home? Was I at home? Happy they. They was or they were? They were. So they were happy. They were happy. And we say, so wasn't or weren't with they, they weren't. They weren't. And we ask questions with were. Were they? Were they there? Were they there? Okay, interesting, the video. So the video was or the video were. So the video means it. We say it was. The video was. The video was interesting. So the video wasn't. And we put was or were? Was. Was the video. Was the video. Interesting. So was were revision. I was at home. I wasn't at home. Was I at home? They were happy. They weren't happy. Were they happy? Interesting. So the video the video was interesting. The video wasn't interesting. Was the video interesting? Good. So present continuous statement. So present continuous it's about it's about present which is now yeah it's about present it's about um, the present time it's about the present time which is now which is now yeah look and um, we can say i'm teaching english now i'm typing now yeah i'm typing now I'm teaching English now. I'm looking at the screen. So it's present continuous. It's now. And we form it, you know, am, is, or are, plus verb, plus ing. Am, is, are, plus verb, plus ing. So I am. So we, you, they are. He, she, it, is, plus verb, plus ing. I am doing it. Or we can use a short form. I'm doing it. Look. We are doing it. Or we are doing it. We are doing it. So you are doing it. Or you are doing it. 
So you see, they are doing it or they are doing it. He is doing it or he is doing it. She is doing it. She is doing it. It is doing it. It's doing it. So you are watching this video. So are you are, we say you are plus verb watch plus ing. You are watching this video. You are looking at me. Really? You are looking at me. So you are plus verb plus ing. You are looking at me. Well, so present continuous negative form. So it's easier. It's easier. So we say am not. We say am not. Or we can, we often use, um, you know, a short form. So am not uh, or is not, am not or is not or are not plus verb, plus verb, plus ing. Okay? So we say I'm not doing it. Or we can use a short form. I'm not doing it. We are not doing it. Or we aren't doing it. You are not doing it. Or you aren't doing it. They are not doing it. Or they aren't doing it. He is not doing it. Or he isn't doing it. It is not doing it. Or it isn't doing it. Look. Look at other examples. So, I'm not driving a car now. You can say it with now or without now, with now or without now. I'm not drinking tea or I'm not drinking tea now. So if you say I'm not drinking tea, so I understand. I understand that it's now. I'm not walking in the park now. I'm not learning French now. I'm learning English. I'm learning English. Okay. So what about questions? So, present continuous uh, question. Okay, so you see, it's easy. It's easy. All right. So, it's am or is or are plus subject plus subject plus verb plus ing plus ing. Look. For example, am I doing it well? Am I doing it well? So am plus subject plus verb plus ing. Am I doing it well? Okay. Is he working? Is he working? Is she? Is she speaking English? Is she speaking English? Is it? Is it happening? Is it happening? So you can say, is it happening now or is it happening right now? Next, are they? Are they cooking? Are you? Are you eating? Are they? Are they swimming? Are they swimming? So you see, M is plus subject plus verb plus ing. So am I doing it well? Is he working? Is she speaking English? Is it happening? Are they cooking? Are you eating? Are they? Are they swimming? Well, so present continuous special question. So how do we ask it? So question word is in the beginning. Then you need M is or are plus verb plus ing. So, you see, what is he doing now? What is he doing now? So, what is a question word? So, then you have is because of he. We say he is, but is he in questions? Do is a verb plus ing. What is he doing now? What is she doing now? What are you doing now? Yeah. So what is a question word? You have are because of you. We say you are, but are you in questions? What are you doing now? Why is he working now? 
How are you learning English? Okay, so present continuous revision. So you need to, to say it in three different for, forms. So uh, do the right thing I. I am plus verb do plus ing. I'm doing the right thing. Okay? Or I'm. I'm is a short form. Next, negative form. I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm not doing. Or we can use a short form. I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm not doing. Next, how will you ask a question? So we put am in the beginning. Am I? Am I doing? Am I doing the right thing? Okay? Wait for you here. So how will you say it? How will you say it? So he is plus verb wait plus ing. He is waiting. He is waiting for you. Or his. He is waiting. Or he is waiting for you. Next. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't waiting. He isn't waiting. So you can say uh, he is not waiting. But you know that we mostly say we mostly say he isn't uh, or aren't we use short forms in speaking so he is not he is not waiting he is not waiting he is not waiting or he isn't waiting and is he waiting is he waiting okay so walk in the park they they are walk plus ing they are walking in the park yeah or you can say they are yeah we often say they are okay so they they are they're walking they're walking or they are they are okay it's also good it's also good so they are walking or they are walking next they aren't they aren't walking or they are not are not walking and are they are they walking are they walking okay so present continuous revision so do the right thing i i'm doing the right thing i'm not doing the right thing am i doing the right thing he is waiting for you he is not waiting for you he isn't waiting for you is he waiting they are walking in the park or they are walking in the park. They aren't walking in the park. Are they walking? Good. So what about this structure? Be going to. Be going to. And we say be going to do something. Be going to do uh, something. So we use it when we talk about our plans. When we talk about our plans. Okay. When we talk about our plans. Please, look, you can say, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it now. So it's about your plans. So if I say so, I'm going to do it, it means, so maybe I will do it, or maybe I won't do it. I don't know it for 100%. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. So you know that we say, I am going to do it. So, we, you, they are going to do it, and he, she, it is going to do it. So, we are going to do it, you are going to do it, they are going to do it, he is going to do it, she is going to do it, it's going to do it. Okay? So, I'm going to learn English very intensively. It's in my plans. So, I'm going to improve my English greatly. It's in my plans. Good. Well, so to be going to a negative form, so we say I'm not going to do it, we aren't going to do it, so you aren't going to do it, they aren't going to do it, and he isn't going to do it, she isn't going to do it, it isn't going to do it. Okay, so let's look, let's look at some examples. I'm not going to call her. I don't want to talk to her. 
I don't want to talk to her, so it isn't in my plans, okay? Next. Well, I'm not going to do it again. I did it one time and that's enough, so it isn't in my plans. I'm not going to work overnight, yeah, I don't like it and it isn't in my plans. Well, so to be going to question. So how do we ask a question? So we say, am I going, for example, am I going to study hard? Are we, you, they going? Look, are we going to visit that place? Are you going to visit that place? Are they going to visit that place? And uh, is he, she, it going? So is he going to come? Is she going to come? Is it going to come? And uh, you see more examples. And you see more examples. I hope that you like examples. You like examples. Okay. So, oh, oh no. More examples. Are you going to help us? Are you going to work there? I think not. I want to find another job. Yes, you remember that we say want to do yes want to find another job okay good so next what about can so it's um, about our ability it's about our ability okay it's about our ability so i can do it and we use can plus verb can plus verb can plus verb so, I can do it, we can do it, they can do it, you can do it, he can do it, she can do it, it can do it. I can drive a car. I can speak English. So, can plus verb. I can drive a car. I can speak English very well. Can't. It's a negative form. It's a negative form. You know that we say can't plus verb can't plus verb okay so i can't speak japanese this language is very difficult can you help me can you do it for me yeah and we start with can plus subject plus verb in questions so you see can you help me can you do it for me good very good well so must we use must plus verb you must do it you must listen to me you must follow these rules you must go to the doctor you must do your homework right now and mustn't so we use mustn't in a negative form so mustn't plus verb you mustn't pronounce it. You mustn't pronounce it. You mustn't say it. Yes, we don't say t. Mustn't. Mustn't. Okay? Next. Should. So, should plus verb. Should plus verb. So, you can say, uh, for example, you should do it. You should do it. You should do it. It means it's a good idea. It's a good idea for you. It's a good idea for you to do it. It's a good idea for you to do it. Okay? So, should means it's a good idea. Should plus verb. You should study more if you want more progress. Should plus verb. You shouldn't eat junk food or unhealthy food. So junk food means unhealthy food. If you want to be healthy, if you want to be healthy, so shouldn't plus verb. If you want to be healthy, you should find another job. Should plus verb. You should find another job. You shouldn't go there. Shouldn't plus verb. You shouldn't go there. Should I do it? Should I do it? Yeah, 
we start a question with should. So should I do it? Or what do you think about it? Should I do it? What do you think about it? Or should we? Should we do it? Should we go there? Should we go there? Okay, next. Could. So could is a model verb. It's a model verb. Yeah, it's also a model verb and it has two meanings. It has two meanings. Okay? It has two meanings. So look, I can do it, so it's present and I could do it, it's past. So we say can could. So could is a past form of can. It's a past form. It's a past form of can. It's a past form of can. Yeah, I can do it. So it's about the present and I could do it. It's about the past. Look, I could lift that bag, although it was very heavy. So it's about the past. We have was. Yeah, it's past simple. Good. And could can have another meaning. Look, I could I could record short videos, but I don't want to do it. It means it's possible. It means it's possible. It's possible. Okay? So it's possible for me to record short videos now. Okay? So it's possible. Well, so very good. Next. Could and uh, we often use could in questions. So could you help me? Could you help me? Or we can say it with please. Could you bring it to me please? So it's very polite. It's very polite. Could you help me? Could you bring it to me please? Good. Next. Would. Would plus verb. I would do it. It also means. It also means that uh, it's okay for me that it's possible for me to do it. It's possible for me to do it. I would do it. Uh, I would uh, help you. So, uh, yeah, I would fly to New York. I would live abroad. I wouldn't do it. So, wouldn't. Wouldn't plus verb. Yeah, we use it in negative sentences. Wouldn't plus verb. So, I wouldn't do it. Or I wouldn't say it. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it. So you see, okay? Good. Re really good. Well, so have to. So we, you know, we can use, we can also use must, have to or must. Uh, please uh, compare. Compare. I must do it. And I have to do it. What's the difference? What's the difference? Really? What's the difference between must and have to? So I must do it and I have to do it. Look, I have to wear school uniform. So do you want to wear school uniform? I think not. So you don't want it. You don't want it. You don't really want it. You don't really want it. You don't really want it, okay? You don't really want it, but you have no choice. But you have no choice. But you have no choice. I have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning every day. So you don't really want it, I think, but you have no choice, yeah. And we use have to for these situations. For these situations when you don't really want something, but you have no choice. Yeah, like these situations. Look, I have to wear school uniform. I have to get up very early or I have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning every day. Okay, so may or might, yeah, plus verb. So it means maybe, it means maybe, okay? So you can say I may do it or I might do it or you can say maybe I will do it. Maybe I will do it. Maybe I will do it. So you use uh, future simple. You use future simple 
after maybe. Okay? So it may happen, or you can also say maybe it will happen. Maybe it will happen. Look, he might agree, or maybe, maybe he will agree. Maybe he will agree, and so on. Okay? And so on. Well, so you see, they may accept. They may accept our offer. They may accept our offer. So it means maybe they will accept our offer. Okay. So they. I may start. I may start uh, learning Chinese. So maybe I'll start learning Chinese. So hello. Do you know how to say hello in Chinese? Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. It means uh, hello. Uh, so you know. You know. Wo han how it means um, I'm fine yeah I'm very good yeah I'm fine Wo han how Nina and you okay really uh, may I may start learning Chinese very seriously okay well so these structures there is and there are so the, we say there is a there is a it's um, if it's one so if it's one yeah and if it's more than one we say there are there are more than one more than one look we can say the pen is on the table so the pen means it and we say it is the pen is on the table so it is on the table or the pen is on the table we can also say there is a pen on the table please don't forget to use a. There is a pen on the table. Okay? Next. Look. Look. There is a microphone on the desk. There is a microphone on the desk. Yeah? Really? There is a microphone on the desk. So it's here. Look. It's here. My microphone. Yeah? It's on, it's on the desk. So I can say I have. Yeah, I have a microphone. So you see, I have a microphone, and uh, I can say, or I can say, there is a microphone. So there is, there are, or uh, I have, or I have, yeah, or I have. So there is a microphone on the desk, or I can say that I have a microphone on the desk. Okay. So so there are two pens on the table. Yeah, if it, it's more than one, two. If it's two, three, four, or more. We say there are. So there are two pens on the table. There are yeah there are two lamps in the room. Two ram two lamps in the room. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, or for example, there is a, uh, there is a, a cup of tea. There is a cup of tea. There is a cup of tea. Okay? Good. So, or there is a pen, yes, there is a pen, so there is a pen, there is a, there is a pencil, there is a pencil, okay, very good, okay, very good. Well, next, so, possessive pronouns, possessive pronouns, really, let's talk about it. So, look, I have a house. This is my house. So my is a possessive pronoun. I, my. We have a house. This is our house. You have a house. This is your house. They have a house. This is their house. So, he has a house. This is his house. She has a house. This is her house. It has a house. It's its house. Okay? So, I, my, we, our, you, your, they, their, he, his, she, her, it, its. Okay, next. Demonstrative pronouns. Look. Bring it to me. So, I, me. 
I called him. He, him. I called her. She, her. They called us. We, us. They called you. You, you. We called them. They, them. I saw it. It, it. Okay? So give it to me, please. Give it to me, please. Help her. So I, me, she, her, help her. I saw them. They, them. Good. Let's talk about nouns, singular. It's when one, we have one thing. And plural, more than one. More than one. More than one, two, three, or more. Okay? So we add S. We add S. So if you want, if you need plural, if you need plural, so more than one, you need to use you need to add s so singular singular plus s look back backs one back but two backs three backs four backs five backs toy one toy but five toys six toys computer computers idea ideas pen pens exceptions man men woman women child children person people so most important most important most important yeah most important most important exceptions most important exceptions okay so you see uh, next so imperative form so do it do it it's when you order it's when you order it's when you order it's when you order okay do it listen to me bring it to me call him come back for example i hear stand up and i and i uh, stand up and then sit down. I sit down. Okay, good. Well, let's talk about English phrases. So you need to understand. You need to understand how to form these phrases. Look, please remember this structure. Remember this structure: a er, or an. Yes, a er, or an. Plus adjective plus adjective plus noun a er or an plus adjective plus noun so a good person so a er, it's an article good it's an adjective and person is a noun a good person he is a good person or an an interesting book so an it's an article yeah, so L or N, so N is an article, so look article or oh, no article. So an interesting book, an interesting book. It's an interesting book. Apple. So I see a big apple. Don't forget about a e or N. Kind people. They are kind people. So a er or n plus adjective plus noun. So if it's one, if it's one, so if it's more than one, if it's more than one, like people, boys, girls, you use, you don't use a er or n. So adjective, adjective plus nouns without, 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 without. A er or N without. So they are can't people adjectives plus nouns. Okay. Well, let's talk about conditionals. Zero conditional zero. Yeah, zero. Or we call it zero conditional. Zero conditional or conditional zero. Conditional. What is it? 
it's um, you know it's about sentences with if it's about sentences with if so look you talk about the present in the first part of the sentence and you talk about the present in the second part of the sentence and you use present simple and present simple look if I work too much so it's present simple okay I get tight very quickly it's present simple so it's normal if I work too much I get tight very quickly next if I study English every day so it's present simple I study English every day I make progress more rapidly so it's present simple if you teach us we are so happy so you teach and um, we are we are so it's present simple we call it we call it so zero conditional okay let's talk about the first conditional let's talk about the first conditional okay so we talk we talk about the future in the first part of the sentence and we talk about the future in the second part of the sentence but we use we use present simple after if please remember it please remember it so we use present simple we use present simple after if yeah you see we use present simple we use present simple after if after if okay but but we talk about the future but we talk about the future okay we we use present simple after it but we talk about the future please look if i go there if i go there he will be very happy so it's about the future he will be very happy we see it in the second part or in the second clause so he will be very happy and this part is also about the future but we must use present simple it's a rule so if i go there he will be very happy or if i do it it will look strange we can't say if i will do it we can't say if i will go it isn't right it isn't correct it's wrong okay so when she comes back when she comes back yeah it's present simple so we use uh you know we use a uh, present simple we use present simple after if or when after if or when so when she comes back i'll smile at her so i'll smile is future simple you see and she comes back it's present simple so we use present simple after when we can't say future simple here we can't say it okay and uh, the second conditional so we talk about the present but unreal we imagine it and please look at this structure if uh, plus plus simple we use it in the first part of the sentence and would or could in the second part of the sentence look if i had two million dollars so it's in my imagination i imagine it i don't have this money so if plus plus simple yeah if i had two million dollars would plus verb i would buy several flats or if i lived in canada but i don't live in canada so it's uh, in my imagination i would leave it's impossible it's impossible yeah if i lived in canada now so it's impossible it isn't possible yeah i would lead another lifestyle would plus verb okay if i were you but i'm not you yeah but i'm not you i would accept this offer and you know that we use were we use were so if you use the second conditional you use were with i Oh, with I, he, 
she, it, you know, we, you, they, you always, you always use were, you always use were, okay? So you always use the were, so yeah, it's a rule, it's a rule. So you can, you can use, you know, you can use was, but it's very rarely, it's very rarely and it's very formal. So you, we meet were, so, and please remember this phrase, if I were you, I would accept this offer. If I were you, I would learn English every day. If I were you, I would visit, for example, this place and so on. Okay? So I hope that's clear. Let's go on. Well, let's talk about much and many. So we use much with um, uncountable, with uncountable with uncountable nouns, with uncountable nouns, we can't count it, we can't count it, okay? Uh, for example, much, for example, much water, much love, much, uh, you know, much freedom, we can't count it, yeah. And uh, you see, she doesn't have much water, he doesn't have much money, and we use many uh, with countable. We use many with countable nouns. Yeah, before countable nouns, we can count it. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you see, he doesn't make many mistakes, so we can count it one mistake two mistakes, three mistakes, four mistakes. Yeah, she doesn't spend much time on it. So, we say much time because time is uncountable. Okay, how much is it? We often ask this question, how much is it? And I hope you know that the word money in English is uncountable. Uncountable, well, and we ask how much money do you have? How much money do you have? Yeah? We often use how much and how many in questions. How much money? So money is uncountable in English and we ask how much money? So cars, this word is uncountable in English and we ask how many cars do you have? Okay, next. Little, a little, few, a few. So, it means not much. It means not much, not many. Okay? So, not much, not many. And uh, we use little and a little. We use a little and um, a little. Yeah? With um, uncountable. Uncountable nouns uncountable and few and a few with countable okay so look she has little money she has little money or she knows it a little so a little means not much she knows little or a little yeah she know is she knows it little or a little. You can also say it. She knows it little or a little. And a little means less than little. Less than little. Less than little. Less than little. Okay? So you can use little and a little without a noun. Okay? So look. You can use. You can use. You can use a little, you can use little or a little, you can use little or a little without, without a noun, okay? So you can use uh, little or a little without a noun, yeah? She knows it little, a little or with a noun. She has little money. And we use few and a few with countable, with countable. Look, he has few friends. He has few friends. 
it means um, not many. I have a few ideas. It means I have some ideas. I have some ideas. Well, what about a lot of and lots of? So a lot of means the same as lots of, but lots of is more informal. Is more informal. So you can say I have a lot of money or I have lots of money. I have a lot of friends or I have lots of friends. So we can say it or we can use it with countable, with countable and uncountable nouns. With countable and uncountable nouns. So you see a lot of money. Yes, so money is uncountable in English. And you can say a lot of money or lots of money. And friends, it's countable in English. And you can say a lot of friends or lots of friends. Okay, good. So what about articles? A er or there? Look. So we call it a er, indefinite, indefinite article, indefinite article and there. Definite article. Definite. Definite article. Look, I have a book. The book is interesting. So if you mention it for the for the second time you use the. So if you mention it, if you mention it, if you mention it uh, for if you mention it uh, for the second time. If you mention it for the second time, okay, uh, you use, you use the, you use the. Look, yeah, I have a book, the book is interesting, so we know this book. I have a dictionary, the dictionary is very good. I have a computer, the computer is very powerful. I'm a teacher. He is a doctor. This is a good book. These are good books. Okay? So, yeah, it's important. So, we use them when it's uh, when we mention it for the second time and uh, you know that. So, article a or n, yeah, it's indefinite and there are uh, definite. So, if it's plural, if it's plural, we don't use a er or an on the there or without there. So look, good books. You can say with there or without there. It's plural. But you can't say a er or an. You can't say a er or an if it's plural, if it's more. Or oh, if it's more than one, you can't say it. So good books or the books. Okay, good. Well, what about have got? So it's very important. Have got. So have got or have. So you can say, I have a car. We have a car. You have a car. They have a car. Or you can also say it with got. Look, I have got a car. We have got a car. They have got a car. You can also use a short form. I've, we've, you've, they've. Listen, I've got a car. We've got a car. You've got a car. They've got a car. Okay? Or you can say it without got. Look. Yeah, he, she, it has or has got. Or has got. He has a problem. She has a problem. It has a problem. He has got. Yeah, you can say it with got. So we often hear it in British English. So he has got a problem. She has got a problem. It has got a problem. Or he's got a problem. She's got a problem. It's got a problem. Okay? So you can say I've got a car or I have a car. I've got a flat or I have a flat. I've got very good friends, or I have very good friends, okay? Uh, how to say it in negative sentences, have got in negative sentences? So, you say it 
with got, haven't got or hasn't got. Look. So I haven't got a car, we haven't got a car, they haven't got a car. He hasn't got a car, she hasn't got a car, it hasn't got a car. Or you can also say it with don't or doesn't. With don't or doesn't, but without got. But without got, okay? So you can say I don't have a car, we don't have a car, you don't have a car, they don't have a car. Or he doesn't have a car, she doesn't have a car, it doesn't have a car. Okay, so you can say it with haven't got, hasn't got, or if you don't like got, it's okay too. You can say don't or doesn't, alright? So, you see, I haven't got a flat, or I don't have, I don't have a flat, I don't have, I don't have a flat, I haven't got any brothers or sisters, or you can say, I don't have any brothers or sisters. I haven't got a big house. My house is very small. Well, what about have got in questions? So, we ask, you know, have you got, okay? So, have you, have I, have we, have they got, okay? Have they got? And we use has with has, he, she, it, got, okay? So, look, has he got, has she got, has it got? You know, when we speak, we often ask, so, do you have or have you got, okay? So, you can ask, yeah, have you got, do you have, have I got, do I have, have we got, do we have, have they got, do they have, or has he got, does he have, has she got, does she have, has it got, does it have, okay? So, have you got any brothers or sisters? Or you can also ask, do you have, do you have, do you have any brothers or sisters, okay? So, have you got a car? Or do you have, do you have a car? So have you got a boyfriend? Or do you have a boyfriend? Have you got a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Okay, next. So present simple passive, okay? So let's study passive voice. Passive voice, let's study passive voice. And uh, present simple passive, okay? We form it this way. M is R plus past participle. So what is past participle? In other words, in other words, okay? In other words, in other words, it's the third form. It's the third form. In other words, it's the third form, okay? Uh, for example, look make or do did done so done is a past participle okay it's the third form okay so look it is made in china it's passive voice it's present simple passive it is made in china because it is made by someone by someone so if it's by someone, if it's by someone, so you need to use passive voice, okay? So if it's if it's by someone, if it's by someone, you need to use you need to use you need uh, to use, okay? Uh, you need to use passive voice. You need to use passive voice. Look. It is made in China, so it is made by someone, someone made it. It is made in Spain, so you see he, she, it is, plus past participle, plus the third form. It is made in Spain, so someone made it, he is watched, 
he is watched by someone, it means that someone watches him. Okay? We are praised. Yeah, you see, we are praised. It means that someone praises us. So we are praised by someone. So it is said. It means that someone says it. So it is said by someone that it's the best idea. Okay? Uh, past simple passive. So it's the same idea. It's the same idea, but in the past. It's the same idea. It's the same idea, uh, but uh, it's about the past. Okay? It's about. But it's about the past. Okay? So you see, was were plus past participle was were plus past participle so it was done by someone okay it's by someone so it was made in china it means someone it's someone made it someone someone made it okay so it was made in china by someone it was made in china uh, by someone, so someone made it, okay? It was made in Spain by someone, someone made it. He was watched, okay? He was watched, so someone watched him, we were praised, someone praised him, so was were plus past participle, so you see, was made, okay? So was made, yeah, was watched, was uh, were praised and was done all right so you see next so what about adjectives and its comparative form okay so long and longer yeah so if it's a short adjective big bigger okay small smaller so if it's a short adjective if it's a short adjective if it's a short adjective, so long is an adjective, big, big is an adjective, small is an adjective, we usually add, we usually, we usually, we usually add uh, er, we usually add er, or to form, to form a comparative form, to form a comparative form, okay? So long, longer, big, bigger small smaller okay so my house is big your house is smaller but you need to remember uh, please remember remember what remember exceptions 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 okay so good better good better so it's a bad example she knows english better and uh, you see bad worse bad worse so this idea is worse this idea is worse this video is more interesting this video is more interesting this idea is worse this video is more interesting okay so uh, you know if it's a long adjective if it's a long adjective we use more plus adjective okay so interesting it's a long adjective and we use more so interesting more interesting so it's a long long adjective okay well what about adjectives and superlative form so you see long longer so we use er in the comparative form and the adjective plus est the longest in a superlative form okay so big bigger big bigger the biggest big bigger the biggest you see so it's a superlative form the plus adjective plus r e s t so it's the longest river in the world okay so uh, full on adjectives yeah full on adjectives so and uh, for usual uh, full on adjectives full on adjectives we usually use you know we usually we usually use more and the most okay 
usually use more and the most. Okay, so you see more plus adjective more interesting the most interesting okay so please interesting you see it's a long adjective so we say more interesting and you also see the most the most interesting it's the most beautiful place it's the most beautiful place for example in the world it's the most beautiful place in the world so the most beautiful place in the world and also remember good and bad because they are exceptions so you see good better the best okay so it's the best explanation bad worse the worst or maybe it's the worst explanation is the worst thing all right so very good what about too much, too many, and enough. So, you know that too much and too many, uh, they have a negative meaning. They have a negative meaning. Uh, they have a negative meaning. Okay. So, you see. So, there is too much sugar. It means that I don't like it. Too much sugar, so I can't eat it. I can't eat it. He makes too many mistakes. He makes too many mistakes. It means so many mistakes. Oh, so many mistakes. Too many mistakes. He asks too many questions. So I don't like it. Okay. I don't have enough money. Yeah. And uh, we use uh, enough uh, before. We often use enough uh, before a noun. So I don't have enough money. I don't have enough free time. Okay? So, yeah, opposite things. Yeah, I don't have enough money. Or, you know, there is too much sugar. So, and uh, I don't have, I don't have enough sugar. I don't have enough sugar. Opposite things. I don't have enough sugar. Opposite. Okay? So, there is too much sugar and uh, I don't have enough sugar or you don't or maybe you didn't put you didn't put okay so you didn't put you didn't put enough you didn't put uh, enough sugar yeah or i don't have i don't have enough sugar opposite opposite okay opposite things all right so and you see these examples i don't have enough money i don't have enough free time okay so we often say enough uh, plus um, some phrase, okay, plus some phrase, okay, so enough money, enough time, enough uh, free time, so usually it's a noun, usually we have, we usually have a noun, okay, so I don't have enough money, I don't have enough uh, free time. Okay, let's talk about numbers, so part one, so we say one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, or 21, 22, so, and so on, 23, 24, then 30, 40, 50, 60, uh, 70, 80, so you see uh, 90, 90 and then we say a hundred a hundred or one hundred hundred or one hundred okay next so numbers part two so two hundred three hundred five hundred so a thousand or one thousand two thousand yeah we say hundred so two hundred three hundred four hundred five hundred six thousand seven hundred eight thousand nine hundred so two hundred two thousand without s so two thousand three thousand five thousand Okay, a million or one million, three million, five million, six million without S. And um, you see, uh, for example, 115, 2005, 2005. Okay, next. Well, what about ordinal numbers? So we say one, but the first, two, but the second. 
three, but the third. I took the first place. I took the first place. Okay? The second example was very interesting. So you need to remember the first, the second, the third. And we add, and we add uh, th, and we add uh, th if we look, if we look at other numbers. If we look, if we look at uh, other numbers. If we look at other numbers. Okay, so good. You see, four, fourth, but we say the fourth, the fourth place, fifth, the fifth, the fifth place, six, the sixth place, seven, the seventh uh, place. Okay, so for example, I think I'll take the third place. I think I'll take the third place. Please don't forget that. Well, what about time? So what we can ask what time is it or what's the time? And we say, for example, it's nine o'clock in the morning. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Okay. Or it's nine a.m. It's nine a.m. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. It's eight o'clock in the evening or it's eight p.m. So if you see it, uh, you say, look, it's you can say it's 9 10 or we often say you know it's 10 it's 10 past 9 it's 10 past 9 so it's 20 past 9 and um, we say a quarter but not we usually say a quarter but not 15 so it's a quarter past 9 and um, if it's more than 30 if it's more than 30 you say 2 Look, it's 20 to 10. It's 20 to 10. It means that you need uh, 20 minutes more to have 10. It's 20 to 10. Or it's a quarter. It's a quarter to 10. It's a quarter to 10. Good. Well, what about so and such? So and such. So we say so plus adjective. So plus adjective. So you see. Uh, this place is so beautiful. Your idea is so good. Your idea is so good. If you have a noun, if you have a noun, after an adjective, you use such. Such a or an. Okay, so it's such a beautiful place. It's such a beautiful place. It's such a good it's such a good idea. So you have a noun after the adjective. So you use such. Such a or such an. It's such a beautiful place. It's such a good idea. So your lessons are so interesting. So you see so plus adjective. And it's such an interesting lesson. So you have a noun after this adjective. So you use such. It's such an interesting lesson. Okay, next. So what about prepositions on, in, and at? Okay, so look at these examples. It's on the table. It's on the table. So the microphone, or for example, the cup is on the table. It's in the room. It's in the room. It's in the room. We say on with the days of the week so on monday on tuesday on wednesday on thursday on friday on saturday on sunday and in with years yeah with years in 1998 so i was born really i was born in 1986 or i can say i was born in 1992 in 1972 and please remember Remember these phrases with at. Look, at home, at work, at school, at the airport. So I saw him at the airport. I saw him at the airport. Good. Well, what about to? What about the preposition to in English? So we often use it. We often use it with go. 
So we often use it. We often use it with Go. We often use it in Go. So we often use it when we move. When we move, okay? So you see, I go to school. Remember these phrases. I go to school. I go to work. I go to university. So I go to university. I went to the cinema. Yeah, we say go to the cinema. Come to me. So it's um, about a moment and it shows direction. It shows, yeah, it shows a direction. It shows a direction. So bring it to me. Yeah, and we also use to, yeah, in these structures, in these structures, you know that um, in these structures or between, between two, between two verbs, between two verbs, you see. I want to do it. So two is between two verbs, want and do, I'd like to do it. So between like and do, yeah, you know these structures, okay? And uh, to uh, means, also means in order, in order, in order. So look, I went there to help him or in order to help him. So it means I went there because I want it. Because I wanted, yeah, because I wanted to help them, to help him. I went there to help them, or it means because I wanted to help them, or in order to help him, okay? Well, what about prepositions after some adjectives? Yeah, you need to remember that uh, you use this or that preposition before some adjectives. So, afraid of. I'm afraid of spiders. Fond of. I am fond of sport. It means uh, I really like it. I really like it. So I'm afraid of spiders. So you have a fear. 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 I am proud of you. So proud of. Proud of. I'm keen on tennis. Keen on. It's like I like uh, tennis or I'm interested. I'm interested, yeah, we say interested in, I'm interested in tennis, please also rem remember it, interested in, okay, so I'm good at English, it means that I know English well, I'm bad at badminton, it means that I don't play it well, and I'm really sorry about it, so sorry about something, so I'm really sorry about it, I'm really sorry about this situation, okay, well, so what about prepositions after some verbs? Please remember, depends on. It depends on you. Okay, so it depends on you. Hope for something. I hope for the best. Listen to. So listen to me. Pay for. I paid for her. Prepare for. Will prepare for the exam. Wait for. Wait for me worry about something so don't worry about it everything will be all right well and um, let's talk about phrasal verbs so you know we have a great video uh, 250 phrasal verbs and have a look at our playlist on phrasal verbs so you need to memorize them so you need to you need to remember them you need to remember them yeah you need to you know to memorize them memorize memorize you need to memorize them or i can also say you need to learn them by heart okay so it also means uh, to memorize so you need to learn them you need to learn them by heart you need to learn them by heart and you can see uh, some examples. You can see some examples of uh, phrasal verbs. Okay, I often get up late. I often get up late. So, if you want to understand it, if you want to understand phrasal verbs, you need to know their meanings. Okay? So, if you want to understand phrasal verbs, you need to understand their meanings. Okay, get up late. I'll write it down. I want to remember it. So you only 
you know you need to learn them and practice practice and practice on them on this hurry up we can be late go on yeah we say go on doing something it means continue go on recording new video courses so you can write it in the comments go on recording new video courses yeah and we'll do it uh, be over means finish so the lesson is over so the lesson is over so it's the end of the lesson It's the end of the lesson and I can say thank you very much thank you very much for your support uh, thanks for watching the lesson is over see you bye really sorry I'm really sorry oh okay okay sorry for my bad typing skills okay next so uh, present simple statement so statement let's talk about it present simple statement or we call it affirmative 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 sentences affirmative sentences okay so for example I work we work you work they work okay you can repeat I work we work you work they work so we say I we you they plus verb plus verb for example work okay next he he works she works it works if you have he she it you put verb plus s verb plus s so we say works 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 yeah please don't forget about it don't forget don't forget don't forget about s don't forget about s okay so if you have he she it you put a verb plus s so he works she works it works okay examples uh, for example so I read I read okay so you see a subject so you see a subject plus verb a subject plus verb so I is a subject and read is a verb we write so we is a subject and write is a verb yeah good you listen so you is a subject and listen is a verb next so they go you see they is a subject and go is a verb yeah so if you have he she it please remember it please don't forget about is remember it okay so re remember it remember it we add s look he travels he travels yeah we say we i like dancing i like swimming so if you really like something if you really like something if you really like something and you need to use a verb and you need to use 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 a verb so you say you say you say like doing something like doing something i like doing something okay so so you see uh, so you see like plus verb plus ing yeah 
like plus verb plus ing. For example, I like playing football. So like plus verb play plus ing. I like playing football. I like spending time with my friends. Like plus verb plus ing. I like spending time with my friends. I like this movie. I like this movie. Uh, for example, I can say I like. Yeah? Or it's a test for you. It's a test for you. I like learn or I like learning. I like learn or I like learning English. I like learn or I like learning English. So if you really like something, you say I like learning English. I like learning English. So it's correct. So it's correct. I like learning English. Okay? Okay? Very good. So you can also meet. You can also meet I like to learn English. So I like to learn English. So it's also possible. It's also possible. So you can say I like to learn or I like learning. So like doing something or like to do, like to do. Yeah, but I like learn, you know, it isn't right. It isn't correct. But if you really like something, you, so we say like doing, I like learning English. Yeah, but um, if you say I like to learn, it's also correct. It's also possible. Okay, good. Let's talk about our hobbies. Okay, so hobbies. One hobby, but many hobbies. I like English. I like learning English. I like learning foreign languages. I like reading. Hi, welcome to the channel English Professionally. And this video is English Grammar Level Beginner, Elementary and Pre-Intermediate. Do you want to speak English really well? Do you want to speak English without mistakes? So, I think yes. So, this course is for you. You need all this grammar to have a strong pre-intermediate level when you are sure about everything, all grammar parts. Thanks for your support. Really. Thanks for your support. Or I can say Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for your support. I really hope you like this lesson. Yeah, good. Okay, so the first thing. Personal pronouns. Personal pronouns. What is it? It's I. I is a personal pronoun. For example, you can say I study English or I learn English. We. It's a personal pronoun. We work. You. You understand. They. They know it. He. He goes to school. She. She goes to work. It works well. So personal pronouns. I. We. You. They. He. She, it. Okay? So, let's revise. Let's revise. Let's revise everything. I study English or I learn English. 
we work. You understand. They know it. He goes to school. She goes to work. It works well. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, let's revise everything. Okay, sorry for my typing skills. Yeah, sorry for my typing skills. Sorry for my typing skills or for my uh, for my bad yeah for my bad typing skills yeah sorry oh yeah sorry for my bad typing skills yeah really I am fun I often listen to music yeah we say listen to don't forget about to I usually get up late sometimes so you can put sometimes in the middle so it's in the middle you see in the middle look i sometimes do it you can put sometimes in the beginning sometimes i do it or you can put sometimes in the end i do it sometimes and never I never go there. Okay, and uh, phrases with every, phrases with every, every day, yeah. So I do it every day, every week. So I go there every week, every month. I visit that place every month. Every year I go to Italy, every year. Okay, next. So about myself, yeah. So it's top. It's a topic. It's about. It's a topic about myself. I live in Spain. I live in Madrid. I work. I often go to the cinema. Please remember, we say go to the cinema. I sometimes play computer games. I always help my friends. And my friends always help me. I have different hobbies. I like English. I study English every day. Let's say it, let's say it a bit faster. Let's say it a bit faster. Okay? So, I live in Spain, I live in Madrid, I work, I often go to the cinema, I sometimes play computer games, I always help my friends and my friends always help me. I have different hobbies. I like English. I study English every day. Okay? Next. Let's talk about like. I like. We say like something. Like something. Or I like. I like something. For example. I like this book. I like English. At S. He travels. Next, she understands, she understands. It looks interesting. It looks interesting. Yeah? It looks interesting. We add S. Okay, and we have a test for you. We have a test for you. So, she leave. Or she lives there. She lives or she lives there. So we say she lives because it's he. Oh, sorry, because it's she. He, she, it. If you have he, she, it, we add s. So she lives there. Okay? She lives there. Okay? So it's easier. It's easier. Uh, next. My brother, 
my brother work or works my brother work or works so and why so you look at my brother so it's what he she it they my brother is he my brother is he and uh, you know he if you have he she it you add s so my brother works my brother works please remember it so my brother works okay so present simple statement or affirmative sentences so we say are we you they plus verb for example i work you work they work he she it plus verb plus s he works she works it works don't forget about s remember it for example i read subject plus verb we write you listen they go but but he travels she understands it looks interesting she lives there my brother works okay so let's talk about present simple and time markers time markers so we often use present simple with these words yeah so we often use 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 this tense this tense present simple with these words with these words okay so uh, you can see it so uh, so you can see it always I always help my parents. Of